Video from the Washington State Nurses Association shows this video from inside St. Joseph Medical Center. Blood and other bodily fluids seeping out of one of the hospital's mattresses. Yeah. Jason Dick of the WSNA says he's seen this before, but not to this degree. I've been a nurse for 20 years and um, that, was, that was one of the things like, that's pretty good. Dick says nurses in the labor and delivery department noticed that fluids were leaking out of the beds but the beds were used for other patients. As a result, the WSNA filed a complaint with the State Department of Health back in October. The complaint says the damaged mattresses posed a significant risk to patients, especially given where these mattresses were found. Blood and other fluids can carry infectious diseases and, uh, and other illnesses. And, you know, given, you know, given where this has taken place in labor and delivery, um, there's a lot of <laughs> bodily fluids expressed during the birthing process and sitting on top of a compromised mattress, yeah, there's a huge potential risk. In a statement, St. Joseph's President Jennifer Skolmberg says that any mattresses that are compromised are immediately taken out of commission and not used for patient care. But Dick says nurses are reporting that damaged mattresses are still being used. When it was brought to administration, they decided to try to patch, uh, patch the beds. And even, you know, several weeks to two months later, we're still seeing beds in use that are patched and still expressing those fluids. Skolmberg says that it is protocol to patch mattresses only in certain situations and the hospital's actions have been timely. But Dick says more needs to be done to address this for the sake of the patients and staff. Their concerns are not being heard and they're not being addressed. And whether or not the nurses want to continue or can, can continue working in an environment like that is taking a huge toll on our ability to retain good qualified nurses at the bedside. Now, Skolmberg's statement also cites supply chain disruptions as a reason for why replacement beds can't be ordered as quickly as usual and that the patching was just a stopgap measure. The statement also reads that replacement mattresses have been ordered and will be made available as soon as possible, but that does not mean that damaged or compromised mattresses will be getting used as, um, until replacement mattresses are available. But for now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.